It's the 2020 gift guide and we're going to show you all of the products that we love and we live with and you're gonna want them for yourself for a gift, but you can give them too. The first one is completely free. We'll give you your dream camera, a Canon EOS R5, a Nikon Z7 Mark II, a Sony a7R4, or, or three cash. grand in cash. Go to winthiscamera.com to check it out. KEH also is throwing in a second place prize of a $1,500 KEH gift card. So that's There's cool. lots of prizes. All right, so the first gift is an Instax camera. These are really cool, they're fun. It's they're like an old Polaroid, like it gives you a yeah. physical print right away. Yes, and that's really fun. Uh, I got one for my daughter one year and she loved it. She took all the pictures right away and then she hung them all up. So if you get this, definitely get another case of film. $70, I'm gonna get one for my niece this year. I think she's gonna like that. And whether you're shooting with a real camera, a smartphone, a drone, our book, Stunning Digital Photography, award-winning, best-selling book is perfect. So if you know somebody who's taking pictures, check it out. Even if they don't like books, there's more than 20 hours of videos that they can watch and learn from, as well as hands-on practices and such. You can pick it up on Amazon or wherever, but if you go to northrop.photo, we will sign the paperback and ship it out ourselves, and you get 25% off with the coupon code HOLIDAY25. And if you're a little more advanced, check out the Art and Science of Photography video training series, which goes deeper than we can on YouTube. At the same website, same coupon code. If you get the video training on an SD card, we'll sign that. So it's a perfect stocking stuffer. Mm -hmm. Here's one that I know Tony loves, and that's conductive tech gloves. Now, you're gonna think, well, I already knew about that, but we have a little hot tip for you. You wanna get ones that aren't just conductive on the index finger, because when you go to zoom on your phone, if you don't have more than one conductive spot, they're not gonna work very well. So go to stp.io slash glove. These ones are conductive on more than just the index finger, so they work better. In fact, they're conductive all over. The entire thing is conductive. Yeah, that's a specific model that I like. Drones are amazing for anybody who loves capturing either still or video because they give you an aerial perspective. You can go out over a lake or 200 feet up in the air and landscapes, portraits, anything is better Real with a drone. I have two drones that I currently recommend. The $450 Mavic Mini 2 at the lower price point or if you can spend a little more, get the Mavic Air 2 for $800. That is the drone we personally use for our video productions. And it's not the most expensive one. It just happens to be my favorite one. It's easy to travel with, too. Absolutely. Um, here's one that I use all of the time. It's a Wacom tablet. I have a larger Wacom tablet that I use for editing at my desk. But the one that I recommend that is my favorite is one of these mini Wacom tablets. I travel with it. It weighs so little, I don't even notice it in my camera bag. And it's more versatile, too. You could give this to a kid to draw on or something, and it's not that expensive, $70, really fun, works very well. I know you like the Wacom for editing. People should learn how to edit. It's, it will greatly improve your photography. We recommend two tools for photo editing, Lightroom Classic for organizing and light editing, and then Photoshop for the heavier editing. And we happen to have video books for both these products. Both have more than 10 hours of video in them, and they're both really inexpensive. You can get the autographed versions of that during the holidays at northrop.photo. Use the coupon code HOLIDAY25. Oh, and if you just want some fast editing, we also have presets for Lightroom, and you can get those for 50% off. And we have a technical set, which Tony made, which if you're shooting wildlife and you have a blue sky with noise, it will automatically take that out, which you can see here. And then we have more creative presets, which I use every single time I edit. I scroll through my presets, see which one gives the right vibe to my photo, and then tweak it from there. So that's a really good way to save time, and it's not expensive. I really recommend using presets. Um, how about this? There's a whole series of like reflectors and gobos, and we have this exact set. It's a five-in-one. Um, there's reflectors and diffusers, and it's only $9. And it's just a really good tool for photographers. Yeah, we just always keep it in our bag, and we can just pop it out and yeah. control the light. Because natural light's good, but you almost always get better results if you make a few changes. Adding light with a flash is really powerful, too, because then you can create great light even on cloudy days, even on rainy days, even at night. So the basic flash that we recommend is the Godox TT600, which is only 60 bucks, and that comes with some cool gels and a diffuser, so if you're just now starting to think about flash, this is the perfect place to start. I also think this is a really good gift for a photographer because they can already have a flash, and having two really ups your game. You can then use the dual gels, like you'll see on the front of my flash training series. And also, and it's inexpensive, and you can get a flash that's compatible with any camera and $60 is not a lot of money and it comes with all the gels and everything so that's cool. 
Um, a flash bender is also really helpful if you know somebody already has a flash, you want to come in at like the $40 price point, it's not that expensive. You can then make the light source bigger by bouncing it off of the flash bender um, and just use it to shape the light in a more flattering way. And they're really light. I like it because it's not fragile. I just flatten it out, stick it in my bag. It's very easy. How many flash modifiers did we test before we recommend this? Only this one. We've tested so many of those plastic like foldable things. Yeah. This is the one we actually carry with us and use and get great results. If you want more power, if you want to be able to overpower the sun, we recommend a big studio strobe. We use these both in the studio and out of the studio. They're known by different names. It could be Flashpoint, it could be Godox. The XP600 that you find at this link, you can get it for under $400, and it is so powerful and great. There's professional grade ones. We do not recommend those. They have flaky batteries. We've tested them. This is the basic model, and we love it. And then if you want to learn how to use these lights, you can get our flash guide training series for only $30. It's 25% off with the coupon code HOLIDAY25. I know a lot of people, I've seen it in our photography group, they put a flash on their camera, they point it right at the subject, or they bounce it off of the ceiling, and they call it a day. And that is just not the most flattering way to get light. Tony and I will walk through how to use your flash, how to bounce it, how to use gobos, how to use reflectors, how to use flash modifiers, and how to use gels. And yeah. Come on, education. 100% money back guarantee. This is a novelty, but for seven bucks or a little more, you can get a coffee mug that looks like a, a lens. <laughs> we have about seven. I don't of them. want any more. <laughs> we don't want any more, <laughs> but if you're new to photography and you don't have five of these yet, go ahead and grab one. It's a great stocking stuffer. They're fun to use. I love this. It's a mural canvas um, and it's a digital photo frame, but the it's very high quality. So it has this beautiful wood frame and then it has a plastic mat which actually looks really nice but then the image quality itself is really nice and you can look at it from a really drastic angle and you still don't get that glare it still looks very nice we have it hanging in the main part of our house i look at it and enjoy it every single day it's there's only a few left at this link now and they're 419 dollars but I highly recommend it. If you want a tripod, we recommend the Be Free from Manfrotto. They have a variety of different, you can get aluminum or carbon fiber, depending on what you want to spend. But we've been using these for, I don't know, most of a decade. And they just like work and deliver for years through dozens of countries. Like they're just great tripods. Simple but reliable. Another great gift for photographers is what we call a Nifty 50, just an inexpensive kind of plasticky lens. If you know somebody who's still shooting with their kit lens, this inexpensive lens can give them the power of bokeh, of controlling the background blur and really take portraits and action and indoor sports stuff to the next level. Go to this link and you'll see a variety of different products. Oh, we love having a good printer. Uh, actually, this print was printed at home. And it's also just nice to print out your own pictures and put them in your home and see your work all around you. And you can do that. You can get an $800 printer. And I guarantee you'll be printing so much stuff and printing photos for your family and friends, which also makes good gifts. So go to stp.io slash p700 to check out this printer that we recommend. Yeah, we actually use the predecessor to this, the p600, but we printed more than a thousand prints on it. And it's still just like going great. I don't even see any need to upgrade. We have a bunch of apparel too. You can look super cool like we do by wearing a <laughs> photography t-shirt. We have them in blue or gray with different designs and just about any size. Head to northrop.photo. We can give you masks because you probably need more than one because yeah. you know you got to throw it in the wash for a little bit. So if you get 10, you can get them as low as $10 each with the coupon code HOLIDAY25. And we have hats with that cool Aperture logo on them. Better than a sports team, right? Well, who are every, you rooting for? Photography. <laughs> People always ask you about your Longhorn hats, and they'd be like, I'm from Texas, but I haven't watched football. And I'm like, I just need to make him a hat so I don't have to hear this conversation anymore. <laughs> Can't handle it. <laughs> and finally, one last plug to win a free camera go to winthiscamera.com. In the comments down below, I'd love to see what you're wanting for Christmas. What are you asking Santa for, and what do you suggest? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. If you have any tips for what a wife could get a man, that's not photography related, but he does like photography. Just leave that down below. <laughs> Seems very specific. <laughs> I want someone to make me a video like this. I need help. <laughs> <laughs>